Who comes first in your life, your partner or your children? One journalist says that his wife comes first every time because, as he says, uh, yes, we're committed to be there for our children and as uh, we're always going to be hands-on, but there's still us. There's still our relationship. There's still the health of our marriage to consider. So what do you think, Katie? Do you agree with him? To a degree. I think it should all be equal, like team effort. I, I wouldn't say I put him first or the kids first. You know, we're, we're a family. We all should do things together. I believe that kids should have a routine. You know, they should be in bed and then you get your adult time. Um, I believe you should do date nights for each other. Um, the only thing that gets in the way of our relationship is my phone. Because at night time, I don't know about any of you women out there, but I'm always on my phone. And he's mm. like, are you going to put that phone down and spend some time with me? Yeah. But that's the only thing. But other than that, I think, you know, if, if you're a team and you do things properly and routine now, and I think for me it would be hurtful if my kids ever thought that I'd put Kieran before them. Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't even say that, even if I'd ever think it or something. I would never say it anyway. Yeah. Mm. It is, it's a difficult one, isn't it? What, what do we mean by putting them before uh, yeah. your partner? I mean, I think as... I mean, obviously, when your kids are young, you, you know, you're just so busy all the time and it's a bedtime routine and they've got to get to bed on time because it's good for them and, you know, everything's focused on the kids, hopefully. But then as they get a bit older, and I might have to admit to a little bit of this myself, um, I think couples can use the kids as a bit of a human shield to kind of avoid each other a little That's bit excuse, and yeah. sort of, you know, everything's about the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? That's your excuses. Well, it? yeah, maybe it is, you know, to be honest. I, I mean, spent I... my life going, don't go to bed, I'll have to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I, I agree with you, actually. I think that um, in terms of, you know, coming first, you know, putting your kids first or your, or your partner first. I think it's not even so much that. I think you have to let the kids know that there are boundaries. Absolutely, they are, they are the most important thing in your lives. Your, your role as a parent is to make sure that they're, they're happy, they're safe, they're well. You're doing everything you can to make them into well-rounded human beings. But at 9 o'clock, it's grown-up time. Now, so I, do you I send am... your kids to, to bed at 9 o'clock? Absolutely, at 9 o'clock. I've tried, but Shane's 27, he won't. <laughs> interesting is you know I've, I've, I've kind of been doing this all along and even obviously when I when I was divorced and I was on my own um, that that cutoff point was still there because even just as a woman I wanted to spend time watching my programs not necessarily watching the kids programs and obviously now you know I'm, I'm with someone who's got his own kids so sometimes there's six of us in the house with four children I still believe in that at, at nine o'clock as lovely it has been to spend time with you all all day it's our time now. I so really off you go. doing that with my kids. Yeah, I, yeah, I am more lenient, uh, lenient with Junior and Princess. Obviously, the young ones go to bed and Harvey just takes himself. But Junior and Princess, because we split them half and half with um, Pete, I like to sit there and watch telly with them. I don't know, I do like that. Yeah. But I don't say to them, like, 9 o'clock, you're in bed. Yeah. So I always try and argue why think, they can't go I to bed. I think the thing is, when you've got kids, I think the danger is, and I think this happens to a lot of people, and it's probably one of my fears, actually, is that when the kids are grown up and they have literally flown the nest... If you've forgotten each other along the way and you've kind of gone like that, you will sit down and think, I don't know what to talk to you about. Well, this is something that you... worry about that, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so do I. Sorry, Ray. <laughs> really? <laughs> Colleen, could we move in together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, because I don't, yeah. I don't think, you know, I, I think in some ways it is important not even to have the kids in bed, but to have those nights where you... You know, you go out for a meal, just the two. The yeah, date, date night, night. Yeah. even if it's once a month, I think they're important, but I think you both have to want them. And the problem with me and Ray at the moment is we want different date nights. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean he, you want Tuesdays and he wants Thursdays? No, I want someone else and he does. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, my, my idea of a great night yeah. out with yeah. my husband yeah. would be like a lovely meal and then the pictures yeah. and yeah, all that. Like that. Yeah. He can't think of anything worse. If he's going out, he wants to go out, you know, yeah. he wants right. to stay okay. out and have a drink. I don't drink, so we don't have that in but common. But surely that's what makes it even more important, that you can have your great nights out in. Hmm. So if you're going to argue about what you do when you go out, yeah. make sure that you have quality time in. I know, God, the pathetic... You don't have to go out, out. Pathetic. Go in, in. <laughs> I, I've got a, a strange obsession with uh, brushing my kitchen floor. 
I, I know, I'm sorry, but I do, I like it to be nice and clean, it's white. And so I'll be brushing the floor and sort of everything. And he'll say, for God's sake, you know, put down the brush, the kitchen's fine, just come and sit on the couch and let's watch the television or something. Yeah. And I'm like brushing the floor. Brushing the floor? <laughs> no, I know, I know. Oh, you don't know where go, for God's sake, will you brush the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Yourself, but isn't that interesting? Because that's all of you have said that more or less the same thing. Yours is a phone, yours is a brush. I don't know what yours is. <laughs> Mine's just any excuse not to end up having to do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that. Because you won't, won't do that. Do that. <laughs> not even on Tuesdays, Thursdays, no. or Christmas. Uh, Amy's got Maybe in touch Christmas. and said. Uh, I see Ray on a Tuesday, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> For more loose women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.